All right, we're abandoning tradition again because this recipe isn't from any specific anime. Rather, this is a video response to all my friends who constantly whine that they want sushi, but making it is too difficult. No, it is not difficult. You just gotta wake up and be like, I want sushi, and then commit. It's not hard, it's rewarding, it's delicious, it's today's video, and I don't think I can maintain this energy for the whole video, so take this second to settle down before the ingredient list comes up. I love sushi. On screen, I have a list of all the ingredients that you're going to need. We're focusing on just the rice, as really, once that's done, you can put pretty much whatever you want into the roll itself. That's all your call. Just make sure that if you're doing raw fish, you are getting sushi slash sashimi grade fish. Generally speaking, this means sticking to fish that has been farm raised and or has been frozen in accordance with FDA guidelines. If you're unsure about what you're buying, just ask. Tuna and salmon are usually pretty safe bets though. To start, measure out your two cups of rice. Before we get to cooking this, you're going to want to be sure to clean the rice as best as you can to remove excess starch. And you really do not want to skip this step, as failing to do so can give your rice a gross, gummy texture. This means just running some cool water, and getting your hands in there and just kind of stirring it about. Drain the water and repeat this process until the water is just about running clear. Once that's done and you fully drained it, add in 3 cups of water. Bring it to a boil, and then set it to low and let it simmer until all the water has been absorbed. For me, it's like around 20-ish minutes, but just keep an eye on it. In the meantime, we can work on our vinegar for the rice. Pour in your 1 3rd cup of rice vinegar, followed by your 3 tablespoons of white sugar. Then just toss in a little hit of salt, and a quick splash of oil. With that set to medium, you're going to consistently stir it until everything in the vinegar has dissolved. Once your rice is finished, go ahead and dump that into a larger mixing bowl. Gently, start mixing in little bits of your vinegar mixture while stirring the rice, preferably with a gentle slicing motion so as to not smush the rice. Now, when it comes to flavoring the rice, I have a bit of a sweet tooth and love sweeter sushi. If you don't, then just be sure to just add small amounts of the vinegar mixture at a time, mix it, and then give a quick taste to get it to a level that you like. You can also feel free to adjust the amount of sugar and vinegar in the first place. This is really about personal preference, and you're not in too much danger of screwing up the rice if you start playing with how much is going in. Also, if your rice is seeming very wet while you're mixing it, don't worry, it will dry a bit as it cools. I didn't bother to show it here, but the best way to cool the rice is going to be with a damp cloth draped over the bowl, and just kind of letting it sit until it's cool enough to handle with your hands. Once it's cooled, we're on to the final step. Assemble all your fillings that you're going to be putting in, as well as a little bowl of water. Now, I am a simple man who likes simple rolls, so I just have here some sliced celery, some salmon, and some tuna. A tip, if you're buying tuna, go for the darker looking tuna steaks, not the bright pink ones. But you can really put in anything you want, Cucumbers, crab, tofu, avocado. You can most certainly use a sushi rolling mat, you know, if you're a coward. Or you can be like me and just use a regular mat and your fingers like God intended. Though, uh, maybe don't do like me and use a mat that's still a little bit wet as that's not going to be helpful. Lay out your sheet of nori and then begin spreading out your rice on it. You can use the bowl of water for dipping your fingers if the rice is sticking too much. Once the rice has been pushed out to the edges, lay out all your fillings towards the edge closer to where you want to be rolling from. I prefer rolling away from me, so I layer my fillings close to me. Now for the rolling. Carefully get your fingers under the sheet and wrap the nori around your fillings. Try to tuck it in nice and tight so that everything stays put in together. Once you have that initial wrap down, just gradually roll it up while ensuring to keep everything tight and clean. When I get to the end, I also like to give it just a couple quick rolls to make it feel like I'm helping really seal it all together and get it evenly spread out. I don't know if that actually helps, but I do it anyway. All that's left is slicing it up so that it's ready to serve. 
Definitely use a better knife than me so you don't crush your poor roll while trying to slice it. Uh, repeat until your rice or fillings are all used up, and there you have some delicious homemade sushi. I recommend wholeheartedly using this delectable double fermented soy sauce for dipping. I literally refuse to make sushi anymore unless I have it on hand. Lord, nothing beats some fresh homemade sushi. And off camera, we even got Makoto here looking for some. A big thank you to my anonymous $20 patron, and to everyone else who supports me on Patreon. Hopefully, if you thought sushi seems like too much work, this video helped sway you otherwise. And I'd love to hear down below if you decide to give it a shot, or also what some of your favorite fillings are. I need to branch out and try new ones. Please give me ideas. Also, feel free to check out my Patreon to help support me making more and better videos, or check out my Twitter. Until next time, I'm CJP Core, the Angry Avocado, and I still don't have a sign-off. And I promise the next recipe will be back to being anime-related.